In this video, I'm going to talk about the register keyword in C. So along with keywords like static and extern, register is a storage class in C. And a storage class influences the visibility and location of a variable. In other words, when can the variable be accessed and where does the variable live in the program or in memory? So we could use register like this, register int x. And what this will do is make the variable x live in a register. What's a register? So to talk about that, we've got to look at how CPUs work. So the CPU can perform calculations in our program, such as additions and subtractions. The CPU performs these calculations using registers, which are slots of memory that are on the CPU itself. It might take the value in register one, add it together with the value in register two, and store the result into register three. The amount of registers on a CPU is relatively small, maybe only eight registers, or maybe a few hundred registers, which is very small in comparison to the amount of data that even a small program may work with. So our program itself lives in memory, what we might call RAM. And things like the values of variables are generally stored in memory. And when the CPU needs to operate on that data, say to perform an addition operation, the data first needs to be moved from memory into registers. The problem is that it takes time to transfer the data from memory to registers. This is actually a major bottleneck to performance. So the program needs to carefully manage what data is kept in registers and when it's kept in registers in order to optimize performance. But as C programmers, we never really have to do this. We just write our programs with our loops and if statements and it works. And we don't have to worry about things at this level. So with this C program here, what's going on is that the compiler takes our program and turns it into the lower level code that actually runs on the CPU. And when it does this, the compiler optimizes this process of moving data from memory into registers. So it might take a C program like this and turn it into instructions like this. And if we were to carry them out, it would look like this. So 10 from down here would be moved into register one. 20 would be moved into register two. Register one and register two would be added together. The result will be stored into register three. And then that value would be moved into memory where variable C is stored. Now with this process, the compiler has taken care of this issue of when and where to move what data into registers. Now, when we use the register keyword, we're telling the compiler to keep the value of this variable in a register. When we do this, we're hoping that it will make our program faster by not having to transfer the data from memory to the register. The problem is we really shouldn't use register. The keyword register was put into the C language a long, long time ago. And in the meantime, compilers have become really, really good at optimizing the execution of our code. The compiler, generally speaking, knows way better than we do as to when something should be put in a register. So in general, we shouldn't use register. It's possible that the compiler will just ignore it anyways. And even if it does follow our advice and store the value in the register, it's possible that doing so will actually slow down our program because the compiler knows better than we do anyways. One possible rare exception to this rule is if we were writing a C program for an extremely new or rare CPU that we really did understand better than the compiler. But in general, this is a very, very rare theoretical scenario. In general, what we should do is avoid using register. Now, when we use register, we can do things like print the variable and perform calculations with the variable. So for example, we could set X equal to five here. We could do printf X percent D backslash N and output X and we'll get five, the same as we would with a normal variable. The one thing we can't do with a variable that's been declared using register is we can't have a pointer to the variable. So I can't say here int star y is equal to and x, where y here is a pointer to an integer. And we're trying to assign to it the memory address of x. 
If I try to save and run this, we get a compiler error. It says address of register variable requested. And that's because we can't do that with a register. The variable is not stored in memory where we have addresses. So that's one thing we can't do with registers. And so that's how the register keyword works in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.